And he's just gonna go with the deck profile of, um... It's basically... Twilight... It's zombie swarms, basically. Um, I'm gonna show you what I... Took out of the deck to put in the zombie cards. From the original Lights 1 build I showed you guys earlier. I took out the two Diablos, two Trigodia, uh, the third Lila, the third Wolf, a Celestia, an Arcus, two Necrogardenas, and three Monster Reincarnation. Um, and I'll show you guys what I put in later. But first, into the main, hit the three JD and Gore still. It's less of Zombie dra Swarms because you still have the ability to go JD and, um, you still have the, this I kept in because the sackiness of going Lumen and Lumen and Garof is stupid. Then you play double Lila, double Reiko, uh, kind of standard, pops backers, pop Logia, monsters, and I still play two Wolf, uh, Wolf is good in general, he adds another name, it's easy to mill. And for the last two monsters I play one Aaron and one Jane, um, Jane is good for running over stuff off the bat, and Aaron is great for getting rid of Zen mains and other defensive monsters, like Spear Reaper, Jalen Duo, etc. Honest, because you play so many Swarns still, and Double Trooper to get the mills in. Uh, for the zombie stuff, I put in three Zombie Master. I don't know, I like three. Um, he just gets work in the graveyard, 1800, and uh, makes Exceed plays happen a lot, because you play level fours, two Pyramid Turtle, Two Goblin Zombie gets your setup. Uh, they're level fours that you can use for materials for Zombie Master. With Zombie Master later to exceed, um, the deck is very exceed based. One Mizuki, it's zombies. You need it, and the one Plague. Uh, you could abuse Plague a lot with Zombie Master before you even use its effect. And um, this is Ultra, by the way. And Plague is just a great tuner in general. But the Zombie Engine, that's part of what I put in. Uh, but yeah, still have a great mill engine in the spells. The th four charges. Um, you play enough swarms to, re play, to play three recharge, and charge is always good for mills. Next, I play two Book of Life. I feel like three might be too much. You do play t three Zombie Master. And this removes some play stuff, so it's kind of good against Hornet. Next, you play Rota, because you play one Aaron, one Jane, and Garoth. Uh, you all, you have searches. This also gives you options, like, if you know you have a Rota and they have a monster, uh, you gotta either get Jane or Aaron to fit the purpose, or, uh, the situation. Avarice just recycles everything. Great card in general. Mind Control, you do play playing now, so you could synchro, you do play the zombie engine, so synchroing is more viable in this deck compared to regular Light Sword. So take and put its monster, you can exceed or synchro with it, it's definitely worth it now. Reborn book, hole, and one space. I, 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 like I said, you already have the two Lila, so th too, too many space might be useless. And finally, last two cards that I shoved in are two Torrential. I feel it's a good plus when you have a zo set zo um, Goblin Zombie and they summon a monster, try to go off. Not only do you Torrential and stop them, uh, it's a good card against Priority, and you get a search, so that's still very good. Um, but I'd like to thank you guys for watching, comment, subscribe, and by the way, look at the difference between new Torrential from Star, um, uh, Light Sanctuary or whatever, Star Deck LS, and a really old Torrential from, yeah, so much more text. Like, read the difference. You can only activate this card when a monster is normal summon, flip summon, a special summon, destroy a monster on the field. If a monster is summoned, just activate only a monster is summoned, destroy a monster on the field. Why did you need all that summon crap? When a monster summoned, that was fine. But I don't know why I put that out. I just noticed it right off there. But I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Um, I'm going to have a lot of videos up for sale soon. And more and more deck profiles coming up. Uh, a new store is opened in my local area. It was an employee of my, lo my old local. And she just opened her own store with a friend. So I'll be having videos there too. And uh, yeah, that's that. Um... I'm, yeah, deck profile is going to be the number one thing coming up on my channel soon. Uh, I don't really do vlogs anymore. I, the only camera I have is an iPhone. It's not even my iPhone. And also, uh, hit, down, hit me down below what type of deck profiles you guys want to see. And I'll always put up deck profiles I actually have, but I can go on DN and make profiles or just build decks for you guys and test for you all. That's what I'm here for. I That's my number one reason on being on YouTube. I like 
testing for my subscribers and for anyone actually who just comments uh, or just PMs me and whatnot. But I've tested multiple decks for a bunch of people who have asked me to. I built decks for them. I've given them like the profiles. This I could literally build just about any deck. Dueling Network has given us the ability to do that, and people overlook it a lot. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Card subscribe, and that's pretty much it. Peace out, YouTube.